Welcome back everyone to Learning with Teaching. Today we're in Dynamics and we're going to solve our problem 12.48, okay? It says, the race car starts from rest and travels along a straight road until it reaches a speed of 26 meters per second in 8 seconds, as shown on the VT graph. So here is our velocity versus time graph. The flat part of the graph is caused by shifting gears. Okay, so over here, we got our flat part, and that's what they're talking about. Draw the AT graph and determine the maximum acceleration of the car. Okay, so we know that we have our velocity versus time graph, and we are given the equations for all these lines. And what we need to do, so we need to find the acceleration, the graph for this car. So, well, how are we going to solve this problem? Well, we're going to solve this problem by knowing that our acceleration is equal to the derivative of our velocity with respect to time, okay? So, we are going to take for each of these time lapses and find the derivative for those equations, okay? So, let's start first for our time between 0 and 4, okay, in seconds. So we know that our velocity is equal to 3.5 t. And if we implement our derivative in order to find our acceleration, we will realize that this is equal to 3.5. Okay, so we're just done with the first one, with the first, uh, with the first part of this graph. So from here to here, we just found our acceleration. Then the next thing is when t is between 4 and 5. And we know that our velocity is just a straight line, meaning a constant, which is equal to this number over here, which is 14. So you, we see that this is a constant. It, it is 14 of, between 4 and 5. So velocity is equal to 14. And when we do the derivative with respect to a constant, and this time at like 14, our derivative will be equal to zero, okay? So now we've good so far from zero to five. And the last piece is from five seconds all the way until eight seconds, okay? And our velocity is equal to 40 minus six, which is given in our graph in here. Therefore, our acceleration, if we do the derivative of this velocity, is going to be equal to 4. Okay, so we have our acceleration between 0 and 4, acceleration between 4 and 5, and acceleration and 5 and 8. So after we have all our accelerations for all the times we're looking for, what we can do is we're going to do our acceleration versus time graph over here. This is one, two, three, and four, okay? Now, on times, we will have that we have one second, two seconds, three, four, so on, so on, all the way until eight seconds. And this is our time in seconds. This should be our accelerations in meter per second square, okay? This is how this graph should start looking at. And now we're gonna start between zero and four. Well, between zero and four, our acceleration is just plain 3.5. So we're gonna go at our 3.5 mark and then between zero and four, that's our value, okay? Then we're gonna check between four and five. We got that our acceleration is zero. Therefore, we gotta go from 3.5 all the way to zero and then we're gonna end up at our five second mark, okay? Next, between five and eight, we have that our acceleration is equal to four, so we gotta go up all the way into four, all the way from five seconds to eight seconds, and we end up in here, okay? So basically, our acceleration graph just looks like this, okay? And the question is also asking us to determine 
the maximum acceleration of the car okay and the maximum acceleration of the car we can check it from our graph and as we can see the maximum point is in here or here all this line has the same value which is equal to 4 therefore we can say that our max acceleration our maximum acceleration is equal to 4 meters per second square okay if you guys like the video please push the like button subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one